The Senate Standing Committee on Defense gave its nod on Tuesday to three bills regarding the tenure of the service's chiefs, Chief of Army Staff, Chief of Air Staff and Chief of Naval Staff and the Chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff Committee. Before the Senate body Green lit the bills in a meeting after a session of the Upper House, the National Assembly had accorded its approval to them. The bills will be tabled for approval by the Senate tomorrow. The three bills are, the Pakistan Army, Amendment, Bill 2020, the Pakistan Air Force, Amendment, Bill 2020 and the Pakistan Navy, Amendment, Bill 2020. In a session of the Senate, all three bills had been presented by Federal Minister Azam Swati. During the presentation, members from the opposition benches belonging to Jamiat Alema i Islam Faisal, JUIF, Jamaat i Islami, G, Pakhtunkhwa Mili Awami Party, PKMAP, and National Party, NP, opposed the bills, chanting slogans of No, No. Subsequently, Chairman Senate Sadiq Sandrani forwarded the three bills to the committee for approval. Later, Minister for Defense Pervez Kotick said that the bills had been passed unanimously by the committee. When asked if any amendments had been put forth by the PPP, Kotick replied in the negative. Earlier, Prime Minister Imran Khan arrived at the NA to attend the session of the lower house. As the session began, Pakistan Tariq I Insaf, PTI MNA Amjad Ali Khan presented the report of the National Assembly's Standing Committee on Defense regarding the Pakistan Army Amendment Bill 2020. Later, Defense Minister Pervez Kotick requested the PPP to take back their recommendations regarding amendments to the bills in light of the regional situation. This will create unity in the House and will create a better situation, he said. Subsequently, taking the floor, PPPMNA Naveed Kumar took back his party's recommendations regarding all three bills. Keeping in mind the situation in the country and the new situation in the region and after consulting with the rest of the opposition, in order to send a unified message, we PPP have decided not to press these amendments, he said. Speaker Assad Kaiser conducted a clause by clause reading of each bill, one after the other, putting them up for a voice vote. Despite religious party members, including Jamiat Alema i Islam Faisal, JUIF, Jamaat i Islami, and representatives from the erstwhile federally administered tribal areas, FADA, walking out of the NA declaring the lower house to be fake, all three bills were approved. In a tweet, a North Waziristan MNA Mohsen Dewar said prior to walking out of the National Assembly, they had voted against the Pakistan Army Amendment Bill 2020. This parliament acted like a rubber stamp. Speaker didn't even allow the few dissenting voices to make their case. This is one of the darkest days in Pakistan's parliamentary history. It will take a long time to recover from this, he said. The session was adjourned till 4 p.m. on Wednesday. A meeting of the PMLN parliamentary group was also held before the session. Meanwhile, a government delegation met with PPP chairperson Balawal Bhutto Zardari in his chamber, Don News TV reported. A day earlier, the National Assembly's Standing Committee on Defense unanimously approved the bills during an in-camera session, an indication that the government and opposition had reached an accord on the passage of the bill. The amendments were passed unanimously by the body. I congratulate the entire country and the opposition parties, Kotick had said. The Supreme Court had while deciding on the legal challenge to the second tenure for Chief of Army Staff COAS Jen Kamar Bawa asked the government to define the tenure, terms and conditions of service of the Army Chief and to get their approval from the Parliament within six months. In an unusual haste, the Federal Cabinet had approved the proposed amendments at an emergency session last Wednesday. Controversy over Gov haste to pass bills The lower house's Standing Committee on Defense had deliberated upon the bills for a second time on Monday after their approval in less than an hour at a joint meeting of the Senate and National Assembly Committee members on Friday had sparked controversy. When the opposition had protested over the undue haste being shown by the ruling coalition, the government had to postpone the sessions of the two houses convened for Saturday. The government then agreed to a new timeline on the demand of the opposition parties. Responding to a journalist's question, Kotick had on Monday said all political parties are on the same page regarding the matter. No one has backtracked, we should avoid rumor-mongering. 
All political parties are on the same page and are standing alongside the armed forces, he had said. Expected amendments as per the amendments approved by the NA committee, the appointment of the services chiefs and chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff Committee would be the prerogative of the Prime Minister and his decision to appoint, reappoint or extend the tenures of chiefs and the chairman cannot be challenged in any court of law. The upper age limit for a four-star appointment has been fixed at 64 years in the case of reappointment and extension, otherwise, the officer will retire at the age of 60 years. Federal Law Minister Faro Nassim had briefed members of the NA Standing Committee on various aspects of the three bills. The main opposition parties, PMLN and PPP, had intended to introduce some amendments to the bills but the law minister told them at the meeting that the proposed changes would require a constitutional amendment. According to a committee member, the opposition parties did not later press for the amendments and the bills were approved with consensus. Through one of their proposed amendments, the opposition parties had sought a role for the Parliamentary Committee on National Security for the reappointment of the services chiefs and chairman. The amendment required the Prime Minister to appear before the Parliamentary Committee on National Security to record reasons for giving an extension to or for reappointment of the services chiefs and chairman, joint chiefs of the staff committee. While talking to the media outside Parliament House on Monday, Balawal said his party had presented three amendment proposals before the NA committee as well as in the National Assembly Secretariat. The extension conundrum Prime Minister Imran Khan had previously extended Jen Bawa's tenure through a notification in August 2019, but the top court suspended it on November 26, 2019, due to irregularities in the manner of extension. After three days of heightened uncertainty, the Apex Court, through a short order on November 28, 2019, had announced that Jen Bawa would remain the COAS for another six months during which the Parliament would legislate on the Army Chief's extension, reappointment. In its detailed verdict released on December 16, 2019, the top court had emphasized that it was up to the Parliament to carry out legislation that would provide certainty and predictability to the post of the COAS for all times to come. We would like to emphasize that this crucial matter of the tenure of COAS and its extension, which has a somewhat checkered history, is before the Parliament, to fix for all times to come, wrote Justice Syed Mansour Ali Shah, a member of the three-judge bench which heard the case, in the court's 43-page judgment. It is now for the people of Pakistan and their chosen representatives in the Parliament to come up with a law that will provide certainty and predictability to the post of COAS, remembering that in strengthening institutions, nations prosper. Both Justice Mazar Alam Khan Mianghel and Justice Asif Saeed Kosa agreed with Justice Shah's judgment, with Justice Kosa saying in his additional note that it had been a shocking revelation to the bench that the terms and conditions of service of the COAS, the tenure of his office, extension in the tenure of his office or his reappointment to that office have remained unregulated by any law so far. In the wake of the Apex Court's order, the government had introduced the three bills regarding the services chief's tenures in the National Assembly on Friday. Please subscribe our YouTube channel Listen News here. If you like the video please like, comment and share the video.